Sometimes the word Bhagavan is applied to any powerful person or any powerful demigod. And certainly in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan designates Lord Sri Krishna as a great personality. But at the same time, we should know that Lord Sri Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead as confirmed by all the great spiritual masters like Shankara Charya, Ramanuja Charya, Madhvar Charya, Nimbarka Swami, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and many other authorities of Vedic knowledge in India. The Lord Himself also establishes Himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the Bhagavad Gita. The word Bhagavan comes in the Bhagavad Gita consistently whenever it is referring to its speaker, Krishna. So, Shri Bhagavan Vacha. This starts with the second chapter of the Bhagavad Gita when Krishna speaks for the first time. And from 2.2, 2.3, Krishna speaks. And then thereafter, again from 2.11 onwards, Krishna is consistently speaking. He speaks the majority of the verses of the Bhagavad Gita. And in the Mahabharata, Whenever there are conversations, it is often referred to as Krishna speaks or Arjuna speaks or Karana speaks, whoever is speaking. But specifically in the, Maha, in the Bhagavad Gita, the word Shri Bhagavan Vacha is used. So Krishna is addressed not just by his name, but by his position. The word Bhagavan refers to Bhagavan. Bhaga is wealth or opulence. One who possesses extraordinary things. Vaan is possess. So Bhagavan means one who possesses various opulences. So technically the word Bhagavan refers to God because God possesses all attractive qualities. So the attractive qualities are can be classified, can be listed as many. But they can be classified into four main, into six main categories. There's beauty, there's wealth, there is strength, there is fame, there is knowledge, and there is renunciation. So the person who embodies all these qualities in their fullest manifestation, that person is God. And that person is worthy of being called Bhagavan in this technical sense of the word. So by using the word Bhagavan, to refer to the speaker of the Gita, the Gita is stressing that the knowledge that is coming from this person is not ordinary. So, for example, when the Prime Minister of India gives an address or the President of America gives the State of Union address, at that time, it is not usually said that the, 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 we don't use the name of the person, proper noun. We use the title. The president spoke this. So when the position, the position often brings a certain level of authority to certain statements. And when God himself speaks, that brings absolute authority. And that indicates that this knowledge is universally relevant. It is timeless knowledge which talks about principles that will speak to the human heart and head in all situations in all times and in all places. And that universality and authority of the Gita's message is stressed by the use of the word Bhagavan. <laughs> 